Well, we are leaving, leaving for an adventure in the car and TJ is going to be navigating. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. We're, st we're starting off on our little Toyota Camry and we're going to go on a ride and TJ is going to be our navigator. We're closing the door of the garage and we're moving on our way. So we're following a plumbing truck. And in the field over here, there are all kinds of birds. They're white birds, seagulls, white seagulls. It looks like snow, but of course it isn't. Way, way in the front, one of the mountains has snow on it. And here's the little navigator, keeping Gary company. Telling me He's to go very straight. serious about his job. Keeping an eye on the trucks. trailer. I'm going to turn. It's beautiful out here. Ah, here goes his horse, the horse trailer going to cut me off again. This guy is an aggressive driver. And TJ's keeping an eye on the road, watching for anything and everything. Gary keeps his eyes forward. TJ's looking backwards and sideways and every which way. That's our navigator. And this is what he's seeing, a beautiful California day. Blue skies. No snow. No snow. Palm trees, if I can get them in the frame. Oh, look, they're working on the road again. Oh. Road work in action. Your tax dollar at work. And here is the enormous, brand new, robotic shipping center because they're already shipping. A great place to work. Amazon has lots of opportunities for people who are willing to work hard. Lost our navigator who bumped into me, but he recovered. Look at this, more, more trucks over here. More construction trucks. Here they go. And we're getting on to the 15 freeway. Traffic looks light. Look at the over here on the corner. freeway driving and here we are heading to the transition from the 15 north onto the 10 east. Uh, there's the sign. <laughs> Woohoo! Went by fast. You gotta read it quick. And the beautiful Ontario Auto Center with more palm trees. Now palm trees are really amazing when you've not had them before. They're the strangest trees. Upside down room. It's like an upside down room is what Gary says. And here we go. Transitioning onto the freeway. Heading east towards the lovely city of San Bernardino. Yay! Surrounded by mountains and desert. What more could you ask for? So here we go, from one California. 
California Freeway to the next. Now, if you continue on the 15 Freeway North, it takes you to the lovely city of Victorville and Barstow. If you continue on to the 10 going west, you wind up at the Pacific Ocean in Santa Monica. But here we're heading east. I think TJ wants an increase in pay. TJ says, this is boring. <laughs> we like to talk to our navigators. He's telling him you did right. You got onto the right freeway, Pop. Good job, DJ. Okay, see you later. We used to be surrounded by farms and cattle and dairies. Now this is one of the few operational ones that's left. Plus they got the black horse there. Oh, my horse! And there's the ladies waiting to be milked. They have some more cows over on this side. TJ always is interested in the cows. He thinks they're cute. Now we're making a left turn, so TJ is still learning to hang on tight. And Gary's taking all the turns very easily. Oh no! He's losing his footing from the brakes. And he regained it. Alright, TJ. And this big field over here is soon going to be covered with houses as soon as they get ready to develop that part. Over here, this farm is still operational, but it's just a matter of time because all this land has become way too valuable to just give it over to cattle. There goes the Speedy Gonzales. Grind up all kinds of things and feed them to the cows. Here's the stack of supplemental feed, and here are the ladies. There's the guy in the skip loader. Now these are waiting. They seem to be too young. field, but right behind it is the new logistical center they just built. with a machine. There's the Watson Logistical Center, all brand new. Last year it was cows who lived here. As you can tell, Ontario and Chino, California are big logistical centers and turning into big residential centers as well now. And TJ is ready to head for home. He says he's had enough of this driving around. He's ready for a nap. Oh. Another logistical 
center under construction. The blue construction fence. Here we have one side of the street developed and one side not. Added three more turns here. TJ does not care for the turns much. Says the turns are hard to hang on. What we really want to do is get him a safety belt for the car. A doggy safety belt. Make a video about that too. Do you know they make those? TJ seatbelt video coming out soon. <laughs> if we can find a seatbelt that fits him. Missed it. Construction fences in the way. Now this house is all boarded up, getting ready to take it on a trip. There were cows in this field just a couple months ago. Airport. Sometimes when you're driving on this street, which is called flight, you will have a anything from a jet to a prop plane come right over the top of you. Today, not too much action on the runway. However, you can see the planes in the executive airport. This is where Mr. Trump would park his plane if he were to come to Chino. And here again are the seagulls in the field where they just harvested sod. They'll replant it and fertilize it and, and they will have more sod to harvest in a couple months. And here we are entering the Tetherwind complex from the, well actually we're entering the preserve first and when we cross the street after the stop sign of East Preserve Loop we will be into the Tetherwind complex which is the little complex where we live. TJ takes his walks every day. So home again, home again to get each other. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.